Coming to the second problem, represent the following situations in the form of quadratic equations. The first bit given is the area of a rectangular plot is 528 meters square. The length of the plot in meters is one more than twice its breadth. We need to find the length and breadth of the plot. Coming to the solution, let us assume that the breadth of the rectangular plot is equal to x meters. Now the length is equal to one more than twice its breadth that is one plus two times of the breadth. We know that breadth is x twice the breadth is 2x. So length becomes one plus 2x. We know that area of the rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth. The given area of the rectangular plot is 528 meter square and the found out length is 1 plus 2x and the breadth is assumed to be as x. So rearranging the terms we get x times of 1 plus 2x is equal to 528. x times of 1 is x, x times of 2x is 2x square, this is equal to 528. So we can write 2x square plus x and transposing 528 to left hand side we get minus 528 is equal to 0 where x is breadth and the length is 1 plus 2x. So the final quadratic equation is 2x square plus x minus 528 is equal to 0. Moving on to the second bit, the product of two consecutive positive integers is 306. We need to find the integers. So let us see the solution. Assume the positive integer to be x. and the consecutive positive integer becomes x plus 1. According to the given problem, the product of two consecutive positive numbers is 306. That is, x multiplied by x plus 1 is equal to 306. We get x times of x is x square and x times of 1 is x is equal to 306 x square plus x and on transposing 306 to left hand side we get minus 306 and this equation is equal to 0 where x is the positive integer this is found by solving this equation and x plus 1 is the consecutive positive integer so the given condition can be represented in the quadratic equation as x square plus x minus 306 is equal to 0. Coming to the third bit, Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. The product of their ages in years 3 years from now will be 360. We would like to find Rohan's present age. Let us see the solution. Assume Rohan's age is equal to x years Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him so Rohan's mother's age is equal to x plus 26 years After 3 years, the Rohan sage will be Rohan sage after 3 years will be x plus 3 years and after 3 years Rohan's mother age is x plus 26 plus 3 
this is equal to x plus 29 years according to the given problem the product of their ages after 3 years will be 360 we can write x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 29 is equal to 360 this becomes x times of x plus 29 plus 3 times of x plus 29 is equal to 360 we can write x square plus 29x plus 3x plus 3 times of 29 is 87 which is equal to 360 now this equation becomes x square plus 29x plus 3x is 32x and plus 87 on transposing 360 to left hand side we get minus 360 is equal to 0 so this implies x square plus 32x plus 87 and minus 360 is minus 273 this is equal to 0 therefore the given condition can be expressed in the form of the quadratic equation as x square plus 32x minus 273 is equal to 0 where x is Rohan's present age then this can be found out by using the roots of this equation. Coming to the fourth problem, a train travels a distance of 480 kilometers at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 8 km per hour less, then it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. We need to find the speed of the train. So let us see the solution. Assume the speed of the train is equal to x km per hour. Now we know that time is equal to distance divided by speed. Therefore, the time taken to complete a distance of 480 kilometers is equal to distance traveled is 480 and the speed is x. So the time taken is 480 divided by x hours. Now the speed is reduced by 8 km per hour. So the new speed becomes x minus 8 km per hour. According to the given condition, the new time becomes the distance travelled is the same distance which is 480 and the speed is x minus 8. So the new time which is 480 divided by x hours. According to the given condition, if the speed had been 8 km per hour less, it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. Initial time, that is original time, plus 3 hours is equal to new time. The original time was found to be 480 divided by x plus 3 is equal to new time was found to be 480 divided by x minus a. Now we can write 480 divided by x minus 8 minus 480 divided by x is equal to 3. So 480 can be taken as common 1 by x minus 8 minus 1 by x is equal to 3. This is equal to 480 times of the LCM will be x times of x minus 8. So we here we will be having x minus of x minus 8 is equal to 3. This becomes 480 times of x minus x is 0 minus of minus 8 is plus 8 divided by x times of x minus 8. 
this is equal to 3 on cross multiplication we get 3 times of x times of x minus 8 is equal to 480 times of 8 so x times of x minus 8 is equal to 480 times of 8 divided by 3 3 goes in 480 as 160 this is x square minus 8x is equal to 1280 so x square minus 8x plus 1 1280 can be transposed to LHS and this becomes minus 1280 this is equal to 0 therefore the given condition can be expressed in the form of the quadratic equation as x square minus 8x minus 1280 is equal to 0.